What's up everyone? I'm Kodo Lewis and we're going to be playing some more My Time at Sandrock today. This is episode number two on our Let's Play and if you haven't checked out the first episode go ahead and check it out. That was the first 30 minutes of gameplay and this one we're going to be doing basically like the first commission which is like the first quest in the game essentially. We got a it's called picking up the slack. We got to build a crane lift so we're going to be going over a little bit of the building, some of the material gathering. Uh, we got a meeting to go to real quick, so it's gonna be a little cutscene for that, and that's pretty much, you know, that'll probably take about the whole time just doing this one quest, I imagine, just depends on how long it takes to get the resources, we're gonna see, but let's go ahead and just Skipper get into this meeting and see what this is all about. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, ooh, who's ooh, been Mason. a hard-working member of our community for many years. Oh yeah, super we'll hard worker. We'll be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. Hey, he's smart man, smart man. But today can't be stuck in this humdrum town forever. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today oh, is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders. Yeah, new builders. Let's party. Thanks, everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Yeah, to yeah. Say a few Your words? second best. Get out of here. Let's see. What do we want to do? Um. Yeah, I think I'd want to live a carefree uh, life. We all. But there are lots of responsibilities. For yeah, of course there's Sandrock. responsibilities, but uh, I'm a challenge. master builder. Everyone, Don't underestimate let's me. Let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. Yeah, I'm a noob. I'll One probably need time, some help. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets, courtesy of none oh, other nice. than our Got very own omelets. Owen. Get them while they're still hot. Meeting adjourned. Oh, and remember, conserve water. Conserve water. Such a a weird town slogan. I'm pretty sure that's their town slogan. Conserve water. I mean, it makes sense. You're in the desert, but it just seems a little, uh, I don't know, just like depressing. <laughs> I don't know. Just like, you just, just the scarcity of water. I mean, don't we use like water to run some of these machines here and stuff like that? Like, what's up with that? That's a little crazy. I don't know. Seems like there's uh, some kind of conspiracy theory on who's controlling the water and what, you know, I don't know, maybe that's just me, I don't know. Anyways, enough of my random ramblings. We got to, it's about, uh, we can probably use up our energy for the rest of the day. We got like, it's 2100 right now, so we got three hours before we need to sleep. Pretty sure if you, we can't break that, if you don't sleep by 2400, I believe you pass out, or maybe not pass out, but uh, I don't know, you might be able to pass out in this game, but I'm pretty sure you'll at least, like, whenever you go to bed and go to wake up, you'll have less energy the next day, and you might even wake up at a later time or something like that, so we don't want any of that. Let's see if we can go ahead and hammer through this junk. I think this junk might respawn every day, this is pretty much like a little salvage area that I think... We have to get a lot of our resources from. Okay, cool. Shiny disc. Shiny disc that contain various... I had no time to read that at all. Basically, got to talk to the local researcher about it. And it looks like it's going to give us a quest. On the shoulders of buried giants. That sounds awesome. It's a lot of junk, for sure. Giving us a lot of resources here. And a lot of experience, too. Just massive experience, it looks like. And just draining through our stamina bar, too. Didn't take long at all. Scorpion. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything we can harvest in here. Uh, yeah, you gotta have the better materials. Better uh, equipped for that. Oh my god, is that a robot over there? That looks awesome. That is... I want... I, I, I wanna... I don't know. I want to go touch it, but I'm scared. <laughs> no time for that. <laughs> we got cranes to build. That's uh, for another episode. We'll murder some robots. 
All right, let's go ahead. And, oh, that's a hard rock. Should have known. Should have known. It's a hard rock. It was a big rock. Okay, we learned about sand leak. Oh, we need to go home and give some rest real quick. It's about to be midnight. Get inside and go to bed. Home sweet home. Such a small house. Reminds me of my house in real life. It's super tiny and lame. <laughs> Maybe not lame, but super tiny. It's pretty funny. Alright. So let's Hello, see what new we builder. got to do. Okay, it is hey Burgess. Wonderful to have you Burgess, here amongst Burgess. our yeah, desert I flock. Burgess. I am Burgess, Chief yeah, Burgess. Safety Inspector of the Sand Rock Chapter of the Church of the Light. I mostly patrol the oasis, and if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy, you better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Now, where was I? Yeah, uh, yeah yes. water. As per the minister's instructions, Guy, I have come with a gift. Water, I got what to be you're more saying. Specific, the Basically, most precious gift of all. The water In police. Sand Rock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive, so we need to be really careful and smart about yeah, how we do it Yeah, makes sense. Out. I mean, big water, you know, Might I control water. Might I bring your attention water. to the humble little fence propped makes up around sense. the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, <laughs> or cut down the trees for that matter. Yeah, I'm not cutting down the trees. Short Calm on down, water Burgess. Workshop, I'm not going to steal any water either. I recommend either. checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. Okay, so we can get some dew or some go to the water sure tower. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. Well, yep, water I won't is take gas, up any more of your time. This See you at the water tower, new pal. Which I mean, it's not completely unreliable. There's a lot of steam-powered machines in real life too. So I mean, it's it's this potentially makes sense. Okay, we're not gonna read all these letters. It's too much. I mean, we can read those later on or something. That's what I think we'll do. Save that for another video. Okay, so here's the crane lift that we actually have to build here. We need a lot of stuff for it. So we're going to need like 24 plant fibers, 15 woods, 32 stone, and then we got to turn it into all this stuff. Uh, we got to go buy that recipe, it looks like, if it's in the Commerce Skilled Store. Okay, yeah, I like that. It even tells you you can get, you know, mechanical scrap junk piles will give you bearings from the recycler and copper sticks from the recycler process. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, cool stuff. Um, let's make this furnace here. I think we'll also need that. Um, but it doesn't take a whole lot of stuff. We can probably make that like right now. Okay, we need the stone trough. Uh, we've got the quartz here. And we need some sticks and the troughs, which we can craft inside of here. Two troughs. And I think that might be enough sticks right there. Oh, we need one more stick. So we need a little bit more wood. Okay, machine recycler alerts. Okay. An essential machine. Okay, uh. Just telling me that we're low on water, I'm assuming. Using 0.6 water an hour. It's idle. It's not using anything right now because it's not on, I'm pretty sure. But. we yeah, It's a pretty low water tank, I'd say. Can we, like, put water in it somehow? Do we have any water? We have some water right here. Can we, uh. How do we adjust maybe okay okay inventory water okay so we can take water out of it or put water in it let's go ahead and dump all our water in here the gift of water okay cool let's see what that says I'm not sure what why that what that quest was all right anyways let's go ahead and we can get this stick real fast for this uh, we can get this recycler going throw we got a bunch of copper scrap it looks like here six copper scrap to recycle throw that in here in the working queue you can manage what you're building this is how long it will take to finish making all these items 
this is your fuel meter you can check how much fuel you have and add more fuel if you need to okay pretty basic when you add fuel you can choose what kind of fuel you want to use some kinds of fuel last longer than others okay that makes sense all right uh well it looks like we have a bunch of these what these dregs i believe is what this is called so let's go ahead and just max it out with dregs they seem pretty easy to use anyways and we can have a chance of getting it from using this anyways so yeah it looks like it's running it's gonna take nine minutes for that okay that's quite a bit of time so we got nine minutes to kill while that's making some stuff so let's go ahead and get us some sticks and get us we're probably gonna make some chests real quick definitely need to get some chests going whoops hi there friend I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. I'm sorry, Burgess. I didn't know. We are not allowed to cut know. down trees near the town. Oh, but I do what I like, Burgess. You not don't know funny. me. What you're doing oh, right now funny. can have some serious consequences for our environment. Oh, the environment and environment. This is your first Cutting it down a couple trees I'll never hurt anybody. Slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public trees again, well, I'll have no choice but to fine you. To the full extent God, you're gonna Sandrock find me, I thought we were close. I Worse thought we were cool. That, though, why, if I saw you chopping down trees, I, I don't know if I would want to be your friend oh, anymore. Oh, I see how it is. You're getting in I'm your sure feelings over some trees. All right, all right, all right, I got you. But don't you I'm worry. I'm sure everybody feels that way. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me. Even oh, plant your okay. Own I can buy wood from property. you. I see. see yeah. Plenty of ways. But I can't so chop it down. You really have no need I see to your chop game, Burgess. I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Burgess. That's all, Builder. Conserve water. Yeah, conserve don't water. Chop don't chop down trees. I hear you. I hear you. You narc. Let's go ahead and go over here and chop down trees. We can't chop down trees over there, but we can right over here, I believe. Let's see. If he yells at us I don't think he will I didn't realize cactuses they're cacti my bad I didn't realize cacti were considered trees or I wouldn't have cut them down or just you know that you know I wouldn't do that all right let's hack all this stuff down we got sand flower I imagine these are probably considered trees as well it's just anything probably close to the town that's not a rock you can't chop down which kind of makes sense it's kind of funny we'll have to make a video of messing around and seeing what we do if we keep chopping it down make everybody hate us to see if that's a uh, does anything maybe they'll kick us out of the town I doubt that would happen well, you never know though Get that ball cactus Okay, we are getting somewhere. Getting a lot of wood here. Probably getting close to being full on our inventory. Okay, got us some yellow lavender. Okay, we didn't have any of that before. Let's get a little bit more of that. Yak thorn, get this yellow lavender again. Ah, oh, so satisfying collecting all these resources. I love it. Love these gathering games. It's what I live for. And the graphics on this one are just so good, honestly. And this gameplay is really smooth. For being early access, this game is impressive, honestly. There was a couple bugs in the first video where, like, the die it was really whenever it goes to like transition to a cutscene it's not like really a cutscene it's just like the person walking up to you trying to talk to you it's like sometimes they glitch out and they just like stand there and don't come up to you and talk to you and you just gotta wait five minutes and then they do talk to you it's that's not terrible i mean it's a little bit game breaking i'd say but not like you know it's not unplayable for sure or anything like that so it's not too bad okay let's go ahead and craft some of these mini storage boxes i Okay, we gotta get something out of our inventory. Let's throw our builder's plaque here down. Boom, builder's license. Check that out. Yeah, Koto's Workshop, Koto Lewis Builder. Yeah, day 17 of summer. Better be prepared to celebrate. Birthday bash. Okay, we got some items on the ground that we couldn't pick up. Let's go ahead and just eat this fruit here. 
now we got those dregs. All right, now can we craft this? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we had just enough room, it looked like. Um, now let's go ahead and throw this down. Did that give us three storages? Is that what this is? All right, three of them. Nice. I won't complain about that. Pretty much need one for all of those. And then let's go ahead and make one for, like, the plants and stuff, like over here a little bit out of the way for now I try to keep it a little bit organized okay that's gonna drive me crazy it's I put it the wrong way somehow can we rotate okay I see Q rotate there we go that was gonna drive me crazy okay sandflower we got that go to they put any kind of like gathering plants in this one okay yeah there we go and yeah, cactus leaf, uh, yellow lavender, sand stuff. Um, what else we got in here that we could probably throw in here? That's pretty much it, I think. Maybe plant fiber could be considered that. But I'm going to hold on to the plant fiber for now. Because I know we're probably going to get cactus spine can go in there. Alright, cool, cool. And then we're going to put some more of the base resources over here. But we're just going to probably leave most of these on for now. Let's also just go ahead and throw these clothes in here for now that we got. So we don't have to hold on to those. Um, we don't really need these worms right now. Scrap and stuff we'll hold on to. Actually, scrap and stuff technically we can put in here and we can wait. And then, th you know, as we need it, we can get it out and recycle it right there. So that's a pretty good plan. Scrap there. Okay getting a little organized here now we're getting somewhere uh, we got some water do we have to drink water in this game or do we only use it for the machines and stuff I'm not sure I don't think we have to drink it doesn't look like it because it didn't put it in my inventory when I hot barred it no I didn't hot bar it there we go Okay, yeah, we can't drink it or anything, so it looks like it's pretty much specifically just for running machines, so that makes sense. Let's go ahead and just dump all of it in here then, I guess. Yeah. Does that do it? Inventory water. Okay, yeah, I think... not sure if that did or not. I'm not sure. No, it didn't. I think you have to maybe turn the do into something else. We'll figure it out. So we definitely need to go get this um, thick rope blueprint and we do need to finish this as well. Well we need one wooden stick. We can go ahead and get that right now. Let's go ahead and just do that. Except we don't have any wood. Except I thought we just chopped that. Oh wait, wait, wait. We used them all in the chest. We used them all in the chest. Gotta love it. Crash classic classic survival well it's not survival but classic crafting game used all our wood up and now we gotta go get more wood because we built it all on chests and then we're gonna build it all on something else and then we'll need more and more and more infinite wood you can never have enough wood you can never have enough stone you can never have enough metal that's just how these games are but you gotta love that oh my gosh level eight thorny jumper I'm sorry, I don't want to fight you. You're, I don't even have a weapon. Please don't fight me, Thorny Jumper. I just want to be left alone in peace. Lure him into these bumble ants that, like, really intimidating. I would not want to live next door to a bunch of ants that had, like, fire pots on their head. <laughs> like, that, I don't... I don't know, I wouldn't live there. A little dangerous to me, but... I guess they are only level 4, but I mean, heck, I'm only level 5. When I came here, I was level 1, like, a little, little nerve-wracking, I'd say. And plus, I don't even have a weapon right now. Man, I put these chests over here backwards, too. That's gonna drive me crazy. Can I pick them up with stuff in them? Okay, that's a little crazy. I didn't think you would be able to do that, honestly. That's kind of 
cool. That'd be really easy to rearrange your base and stuff in this game. I think that's right. And we messed it up again. Maybe that'll fix it. Confirm changes. Confirm. Okay, no, I didn't. Um, there we go. All right, now we're talking. Go ahead and collect these copper sticks from this. Go ahead and craft this wooden stick. And now we can make this furnace here. Boom. Nice. Got this bad boy cooking. A stone receptacle used for smelting those dirty old ores into sweet, sweet bars. Yeah, nobody wants no nasty, dirty old ores. We need them sweet, sweet bars. Well, let's go. Let's. Uh, can I rotate this? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's not terrible. I'll, I can live with that. Okay, now let's see. We can make copper bars and bricks in here. Okay, okay, I see. So we can definitely get, we can like get the direct resources instead of actually having to rely on luck and the recycler. So that makes sense. So let's go ahead and pull this crane up real quick, since that's something we're definitely gonna have to craft here. We need eight bricks, five wooden sticks, six rope and then some copper sticks as well let's go ahead and go buy that rope real quick we know we're gonna need that what is up with this who is this this camel what is this okay desert guide town mascot okay it's a town mascot slash desert guide fair enough fair enough all right so let's go ahead and I just passed the store. Here we go. We gotta go in here. The Commerce Guild. And then we can buy the blueprints here in the Commerce Guild. Okay, let's find. Thick rope. There it is. Boom. And that's all we needed. So now we got thick rope. Now we just have to go craft a bunch of it. So we gotta craft a bunch of thick rope. We need sticks. We need. I think some bearings or something like that, and some. We need copper sticks, I believe. We need to probably head over to the salvage yard and see if that junk respawned today. I'm pretty sure it spawns every day, but I could be wrong about that. I have no idea. Heading over there to find out. We're almost out of energy as well, so that kind of sucks. used up all our energy getting wood actually we did have a skill point we got earlier too a knowledge point whatever basically it's just like there's you know pretty self-explanatory just like any other game there's a, a skill trees and stuff like that this is like looking like a gathering skill tree uh, stamina bonus stamina recovery okay uh, okay some gathering herbal wood stuff okay and stone okay yeah yeah pretty self-explanatory um okay and then we also have workshop okay so each one of these is its own separate level stuff too so we leveled up our gathering so we got gathering points here all right that makes sense gathering workshop combat and social okay social is a thing okay uh, that's that's intriguing i didn't know that so i need to start talking to more people i guess Gotta level up my social game. Cool. Let's see. What should we go with? Um, I'm gonna think stamina, cause stamina is probably gonna be our biggest annoyance early on in the game. Like, we're already out of stamina right now. We still have a lot of time left in the day. That's already a little bit annoying. <laughs> and these omelets don't give us stamina I'm pretty sure those just give HP if I saw right yeah 70 HP that don't help us any what about these earthworms can we eat them <laughs> sandworms whatever now we can't eat those all right so now we pretty much just have to wait for our energy to come back up I guess or try to get some stuff done uh, we might as well sleep honestly just let it reset go ahead and put these back get this going um let's see what did we need bearings bricks 
rope, all that good stuff. So maybe we should break down our... We got six mechanical scrap. Let's go ahead and get that going since it's the highest amount of stuff we've got here. And then, let's see. We got 15 minutes of fuel with 10 minutes. So yeah, that's all good. It's all good. And then we can go ahead... We don't need copper bars, so... We couldn't craft them even if we did. And bricks. We do need bricks. Let's go ahead and just craft all those five bricks. I think that's exactly what we need. And we need some fuel. Let's go ahead and just fill it up with some dregs. Gives us nine minutes. Yep, it's only going to take six minutes. Cool, cool. And so that's going to give us the bricks. We're not quite the bricks that we need, but we'll need a little bit more bricks. Need some sticks. We might be able to just craft those real quick. Oh, no, we can't. What about the rope? We can craft the rope, though. All right, there we go. Put that rope on. So we just need sticks, rope, copper bars, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and cash in for the night. Actually, let's go ahead and run over to this guy and see what this other quest is about on the shoulders of Barry Giants. So might as well talk to him and get it started since we have a little bit of free time here. A little bit of time to kill. Might as well see what it's all about. Okay, just random gears on the ground. Oh, they gave me dregs. I'll take it though. I'll take some dregs. Alright, what is this place? It's like a research lab or something is what it Top secret data. Alright, what's new builder. the key? Why wasn't I informed of this? I'm not sure what your name is. A data disk? Yeah, I found a data disk, so what? Allow me to explain. Yeah, data that's discs what I'm waiting for. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Uh -oh. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines which you can construct on your assembly station. Okay, that I makes keep a sense. collection of diagrams plus potential future plans get the disk, with get me more at all times. For so if you need and to stuff. build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks, and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Simple Come enough. Come here when you have more data disks. Well, what about the one I got now? Are you gonna give me anything for that, or just say that it's useless? Well, that's cool. We'll meet again. Okay, we can check, gift, research, spar. So we can spar with them, that's hilarious. You can just go around sparring with people. I love this already. Gotta love with this game. We can play critters too. That is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about research. Okay, okay, so we take these data disks and we can... Oh, I see, I see. We can upgrade our recycler, do collect, and then we can also unlock the do collector or refinery. Unlock the furnace, or upgrade the furnace, processor, grinder. Uh, okay. Okay, so I have three data disks right now, so I can already unlock either this price processor or grinder. A machine that grinds, drills, and smooths out materials into parts suitable for more complicated constructions. A machine cutting, grind, and hard substances. Okay. Well, this is gonna unlock us more complicated constructions and then this is just gonna I don't know allow us to process harder materials or something so let's go with this one well honestly that one probably needs that one because it has more advanced construction let's go ahead and get the processor first let's be honest because I guarantee you have to have the uh, processor to use this grinder Hello. because you're gonna be able to cut you're gonna have to cut those materials and then you know because most likely those advanced I could be wrong, but those advanced constructions most likely use those advanced materials that you have to have the harder thing to cut. That's my logic on that decision there, and I'm sticking to it. We gotta hurry up home and go night-night. And I went the wrong way because I do not know this town. We can just hop over everything. I don't believe there's fall damage. It doesn't look like it or I would have just broke my legs. <laughs> it's 
up, Faye? Never even talked to you. Oh, I can already feel like we're gonna put a lot of time into this game, everyone. There's just so much to do already. Loving it already, though. Definitely solid game. Free and early access. This is a super solid game. And this game just came out like a month ago, so it's super new, honestly. Like, for being that new, then having this level of development already in content, like, it's smooth playing and everything. Like, honestly, this game is really great. Highly recommend. Alright, I think we're about at our 30 minute mark now for this video, so that's pretty cool. Half About halfway done, and we're about halfway done with making this too, I'd say. Maybe a little less. I mean, we got these first few constructions. We got some of this, you know, we, you've seen us all this stuff that we're doing. We gotta get all the basics before we can even try to build this, because we'll be stuck with full inventory and all that stuff. So, that's just how it is. We have to, you know, go through all this basic stuff before we can get into the advanced stuff. And then now we're still going to have to harvest all these materials and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. But anyways, where I'm going with this is if you're still sticking around at this point, you've been watching for 30 minutes, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, guys. I would really appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. Leave any questions or thoughts on the video below. Let me know if you're going to get this game, if you enjoyed this game, you know, anything like that. And uh, other than that, you know, we're just let's just go ahead and just keep going on this. We got 30 more minutes. I'm probably gonna make these videos about an hour long, so that's just the plan right now. Doing roughly an hour, depending if you know if it might take us a little less, it might take us a little more. Some videos, so I'm gonna play it by eye, ear by eye, whatever you want to call it. But you know, some quests are gonna take a little bit longer, some aren't. So that's just how it is. But I think it's a good. Uh, starting point for us on this video or on this series I mean so much junk to hack up alright sweet so now we can go see what all we got from that We didn't get any wood from that, that doesn't really surprise me. Okay, we got a bunch of bearings from that though. Some, but we almost got all the bearings we need then. Three out of four, cool, good stuff. Go ahead and collect these bricks. How many more bricks do we need? Uh, three more bricks, Let's see if we can go ahead and craft those. Uh, we cannot yet, so let's go ahead and put this stuff in the recycler. Let's get all this out, let's see which one is the best for us to do. We got nine copper scrap. We don't really need any of, no, I think we do need these copper sticks, which is a chance of getting these from that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do these. And I'm gonna go ahead and auto fill it with fuel. Just usually gonna always use dregs is what it looks like. Yeah, we need three copper sticks, so... We probably won't even need to do it for 13 minutes of that, but we'll just leave it on there for a minute while we collect some wood, because we definitely need some wood. Okay, that's going to give us fibers. We need wood. I want to chop those trees over there down so bad. <laughs> Must resist the urge to cut down the town trees. <laughs> Here we go, what is this? Oh, it's too hard. Ah, right, here's some little cacti we can chop down. This should be plenty. Does this give us wood too? Oh yeah, for sure, it's pretty stout, yeah. stone pile yeah we definitely need to keep an eye out for piles and stuff too because I don't think those really use energy oh yeah they do they still use energy 
Maybe not as much, though. Or maybe they do. <laughs> Alright, I think that might be enough to get our wooden sticks out of the way. And then we're pretty much just going to be waiting on uh, these other things to process. Yeah, there we go. There's our wooden sticks. So now we just need three bricks, three copper sticks, and a bearing. Let's see, we just got a copper stick out of that, so we only need a couple more, two more sticks. Um, three bricks. Can we go ahead and make some bricks? What do we need for this stone? Yeah, we need to go get a little bit more stone. What's up, Fang? It's a pretty brutal name. <laughs> no, I don't want to waste my energy on you, Earthworm. Or Sandworm, whatever your name is. I have to be more conservative with my energy. I'm just being careless, wanting to punch everything and gather everything, but it's like, kind of have to be conservative with your energy if you want to not have to just go through a million billion days. Oh, I did not mean to mess with you. I am sorry, sir. Please spare me. Some stone scrap. This is what we're looking for. Copper scrap. And we're already pretty much out of energy. Not sure if there is a way for us to get energy back other than just like eating foods. Surely there's somewhere we can go and rest at a little bit. Because you can run out of energy pretty fast, but maybe not. I mean, that is a way to keep you from getting too far too fast, you know, without going through the days and stuff like that. But we'll just have to see. Did we get all those things we need? Nope. We got some bars out of that. We can't craft copper sticks, can we? Doesn't look like it. Um, how many bricks did we say we needed? Three bricks. We should definitely be able to craft that. Boom, three bricks. And then we need some bearings as well. Which I'm pretty sure we just have to get from the recycler. So, yeah, we're, we're on to a pretty good start. We've almost got this commission done. Alright, let's see if we can go find somewhere to maybe get us a little bit of energy back. We probably need to put some of this stuff up though, because we might get sucked into some, uh... Somebody giving us some stuff. And we don't want to be full and not be able to take it. Okay, put all our scrap up in here. Scrap, 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 scrap. Uh, bricks, we can keep those. Alright, now let's go ahead and go. That'll be plenty of space. See if maybe the saloon. I feel like the saloon I could see, like, getting a little rest from that and getting our energy up or something. Maybe not. It, I mean, either way it would make sense, I guess, so. Doesn't hurt to try. Alright, so blue moon to go. Okay, so we can buy some food here. Doesn't look like any of this stuff is really gonna help us out though, especially since we're super poor. We have like 33 goals, is that what it says? No, we have 194 goals. That's not very much goals. 
Okay, we can order some food here. Order one of everything. How much would that even cost? Like our whole... Oh, that's just for the appetizers. Oh my, whoa, that's pricey. Yeah, I want to cancel that order. Confirm to cancel. Okay, well that's interesting. Well, at least we know that's not going to help us any. So I'm thinking it looks like there is definitely no, well, I mean, I'm not going to say there's definitely no way, but it's most likely not a way to really get energy back other than like eating foods that we don't really have access to right now. Let's see. We got a clothes store it looks like. We have a barber shop. Yeah, I mean that construction junction. No, there's not a whole lot we can do. There's a little quest over here we can go check out. Might as well do that while we're waiting on the next day. Don't want to go to bed too soon. What is this? A general store? Hmm, what do you got? You got some stuff on sale? Can we just like walk up to this and buy it from... No. That's interesting though. It just shows you the on sale stuff there. Hmm. Well, it doesn't hurt to check out your wares. Pretty expensive, buddy. Not gonna lie. You have that big old wooden chest there. And it's like, yeah, I don't even see that in your stop, your store. You said it's on sale, but I, I don't see it. Not seeing it, man. Definitely not in here. Hmm. Not enough stamina. The breach. Okay, what is that? Like a different area? That's interesting. We definitely don't want to go in there yet. Go ahead and check out whatever this is down here. Most likely a cutscene or something. Looks like a bunch of enemies. Some lizard guys. Oh, he's strapped. You must be one of the new builders. Well. Justice is my name, and justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts, head of the Silver Corps. All right, cool, Having said cool. that, what are you doing so far from your workshop? It ain't safe here. Well, Some give me a reason, gun. <laughs> these lizard folk have been poking into our territory as of late, spray painting their names all over things, picking at structures all over. I've heard they're even messing with our bridge here. Oh, they call themselves attacking. the Gigglers. The and them acting all emboldened like couldn't have come at a worse time. Light knows we've got enough to worry about with Logan and his gang out prowling around. Oh my god, look how close that big lizard guy is getting. He is huge. He would wreck you, dude. Like, well, I mean, you do have a pistol, but the man, a big old here. hammer lizard. Man, he almost walked right up here and started wailing on us. Yeah, I want to make friends with you. Maybe get you to give me a gun. Just a little curious what like level of sissies are. Oh wow, they have crossbows. I did not see that. <laughs> Definitely good way to block you off from that area. Just put so many lizard men that you can't physically possibly dodge them all. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, cool. So we basically got everything covered. There's nothing really for us to do here other than you know, like I wonder what these are. Hmm. It's like points of interest. Okay, there's a couple of multiple stuff at once. I get, I get. It. Yeah, let's basically just go to bed and get this uh, crane built up. That's all we really can do. Put some more stuff in our furnace. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure when we ever we go to sleep, it probably cooks all the stuff in the furnace and stuff overnight. In you know, relative to what the actual real life time is. We will find out. We'll have to experiment with that just real quick. Because I was not paying attention to that earlier, but I'm pretty sure it, that's what happened. Alright, we got enough copper sticks yet. 
No, we need one more, so that'll be... Let's go ahead and throw all our copper scrap into here. Let's go ahead and auto-fill that up. Let's go ahead and... Let's see, do we have any more copper scrap? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in this. Let's go ahead and auto-fill that up. A bunch of these. Um, bricks. We don't really need any more bricks other than this last one here in 40 seconds. Was that all of them? Yeah, got the last one going there. Copper bars. As far as I know, we don't need any copper bars. Okay, nice. We just got our last copper stick there that we needed. That is super helpful. So now, that's going to speed up things a little bit too. Put the copper stick on there. Now we can uh, go ahead and cancel these, get our stuff back. And let's... Okay, so we can put all our... St uh, okay, these are pulling the stuff out of the chest. I just now realized that. I did not realize that it was doing that until just now. I love games that do that. Respect to all the games that do that. Not enough games do that. Crafting games like this should... That's what it's saying right here is it's getting them out of the chest. I just now realized that. I should have realized it before, but it's... Let's see, the bearings, that's all we need, right? We need bearings. But yeah, that's that's awesome, I love that. Bearings and bricks, bearings, bricks. Okay, bricks are done in like three seconds. All right, bricks are done, son. Awesome, now we just need those bearings. Sweet, which That'll be a good test for us. We'll go to sleep, wake up, and see if those are cooked up for us. Because if the time passes along, then it should cook those for us. It'll be about seven, eight hours since we're going to sleep. So that would be uh, just enough time to cook all that. Should be down to like a minute or two, maybe. If not, done. Yep, it sure did. It dropped the time down, so that 100% worked just like I was thinking it would. Definitely a good strategy there is to always make sure you have these filled up before you go to bed. That way you don't have to wait. If not, you know, if we would have waited and then went to sleep and then put these in, we would have had to wait 5-10 minutes for these, you know, to make these bearings. But instead, we had it already done, and now we got this massive crane. We did it. We've got it officially done. Let's see. It took us about... Let me look at my timer here. Yeah, about 40, 50 minutes to do all that, so not bad, not bad. Got it done within the hour, that was uh, the hour is the goal time, so we're still not done here. We're going to go ahead and install it, and there's probably going to be a cutscene, and there's probably going to be a big party for how amazing and awesome I am, and how just great that we did on this quest, so let's go ahead and see what we got down here. Yeah, look at me, just like, yeah, it's like, just carry this crane around my bare hands. Apparently I am on steroids. Or like I'm a cyborg or something like extremely insane. And it's gonna be super massive when we put it down, I guarantee it's gonna be huge. Okay, check the quality of your item. Well it doesn't really have a quality. It's a perfect quality apparently. Apparently we're perfect, so yeah, this is the perfect crane. Oh yeah. Looks like everybody's happy. Brave man testing another man's uh, crane out before he does. <laughs> Not even gonna test her crane out, I guess. I gotta tell I you, just trust those two her. lifts you made are running like a drain. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. Right. Well, well, we're gonna rebuild this place, boys buddy. Finally get back into the abandoned we'll get ruins white and get shorts. to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Oh, sure. I love diving. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well, that and building. Of course, I think building. I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Sure, All right, let's do so some here's digging. the deal. 
The abandoned ruins around here are the pride and joy of Ufala Salvage. They hold precious resources and relics from the old world. They're open to anybody who has the same pass you use to access our salvage yard. Well, all right, makes pass sense. Pass fees pay for folks like you to rent a jetpack in case you dig yourself in too deep. And a <laughs> scanner for finding relics jetpack. easier. A little also, bit. Also, <laughs> sometimes we gotta hire the Civil Corps to go through from time to time to make sure we don't have any, uh... Incidents. Incidents, I Your got you. Wink, wink. big hammers to dig tunnels through the ruins. And also to break up ores and valuables that you could take back to your workshop to make all kinds of cool stuff. Yes, yes. Anything's Keep fine telling me all this juicy there. details. But, uh, I love it. I got a little proposition I want to go, like, Since right now. Been out of commission for Get so me excited long, for me some and ruin diving. are going to have to break our backs to make up for lost time. If you want to sell me some of the ores you find in the next couple of days, I'd pay you top goals. Top goals, he says. Just something to consider. Uh, I'm considering well, it. Uh, I am lacking on the goals right now. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Oh, Don't mind anything, I wouldn't time. mind. I love that. Uh, Rocky, you you are a cool guy. Respect. Cool, mining time. Well, let's see. I think... Hmm. Well, we got about ten more minutes, so we can probably get a... Probably, eh, let's go ahead and call it if this for this video. There's no reason to. Uh, we'll, we'll make that the next video. We're going to start out the next video with taking the crane lift to the Ufala Salvage and Abandoned Ruins. Because I guarantee you that's going to take about 30 minutes to an hour on that. I guarantee it. So once we go down there, it's going to be a quit, a big thing and all that stuff like that. So that's pretty much the end of this video then this is going to be our second episode on this let's play we got the crane belt so we got some stuff doing you pretty much saw the basics of how this game is and this one is going to be a lot of salvaging parts like this cutting them up and then going over to you know our stuff and taking those resources turning them into better resources uh combining them all into parts and then we built that crane that's pretty cool it's pretty much how this whole game is going to be i'm assuming you know we're going to take on different jobs different commissions that was like a main quest so there's going to be a lot of side quests with stuff like that and other stuff and it's going to be really cool to see so make sure you check out the next episode where we're going to be going in the mines we're going to be checking out the abandoned ruins that's going to be awesome there's probably going to be some cool fighting and stuff like that down there all that good stuff so if you stuck around to the end of the video make sure you hit that subscribe button uh we definitely are trying to re push those subscribers or trying to reach 250 subs that's the goal right now so hit that subscribe button appreciate all the love we can get for the channel hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of these let's plays definitely hit the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions or comments or if you're going to buy the game or if this made you want to buy the game let us know down below let's say you know this is a pretty good game, pretty early access. I know a lot of people are skeptical about buying early access games, and reasonably so, but it's a good game. I think you guys will like it a lot if you enjoy any of the other, like if you enjoy Sunhaven, I know most of you that watch these, if you're from my channel and subscribe now, you know I make all these videos on Sunhaven. If you enjoy Sunhaven, you're going to love this game too. It's pretty similar in a lot of ways i'm not sure I, you might be able to get married in this game and everything so that's the only way i would say that it may be a little bit different yeah i'm not but i'm pretty sure you can get married in everything so there's a lot of you know there's, there's got a romance as, aspect to it and then pretty much everything the sunhaven has it's got farming it's got mining it's got it's got it all you know this game is definitely pretty solid and that's really all we have for you in this one so like i said guys check out the next episode where we're going to be going in the mines but uh, other than that i'll see you in the next one